Hey everyone, John M.I. Woodsman. Just thought I'd do a little video on my uh, little emergency fire kit slash tool kit. Um, if anybody's familiar with Mosin's, they know this is a, a Mosin that got ammo pouch and it's got some nice leather straps on the back so I can put it on my belt and carry it with me whenever I'm out in the woods. And uh, I got some pretty good stuff in here. I guess I'll start with uh, my main one. This here is an old Mentos tin and it is full, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it is full of Maya dust that I made up and it works really really good. Really happy with the way it turned out. Then I got uh, a couple of my cotton ball roll-ups. <coughs> Ferrocium rod, just a small one. And I got this old match container, which isn't for matches. I don't know if I can get it open. Yeah, there we go. What I got in here is another accelerant for fire making. If I can't get a fire with this stuff, I need to go back home or should have stayed home in the first place. But that's full of uh, ground up magnesium, already prepped, ready to go. So this works pretty good. It keeps it nice and dry. Not that it would matter because the stuff would probably burn when it's wet. It burns so good, so hot, so fast. So I thought, because I'm not a big match person, so I thought that would be a good, good storage container for that. Then I got in here, I got a, uh, a little, one of those little pill bottle outfits. What I did with that, it's filled with, uh, I already shredded up the jute twine, so it's all I gotta do is pull it out of there and fluff it back up. It's already been sh already been uh, fluffed once, and I packed it in there. I got a quite a little bundle in there actually, a nice little bird's nest. Then I got got a razor blade, got a can opener on that side. That's that side. So that ought to be able to get me some fire. Over here I got some more jute twine. If I need to bust some more up. I got a little fire rope. Wax jute twine. Got me a little flashlight. I think it works. Yep. Little light's better than no light, right? Got me a little bit of cordage. Some uh, bank line. I call, this is actually like a carpenter string because it's not tarred. Um, got me a little multi, kind of like a imitation Swiss Army knife. Got me a little miniature pry bar, which works good for straight head screws. And I got me this little Swiss tech, which is a little multi tool. So, that's the contents of my little emergency kit. I figure if that doesn't work, I'm not going to be able to get a fire going. It would be raining cats and dogs. So with that, folks, I just wanted to share that with you. This little kit I came up with, uh, maybe it helps somebody out. It seems to be okay for me. I haven't been able to test it yet. I tried that yesterday, and I did record some, uh, a couple different areas I went to, actually a few different areas. And all the parks are closed till May 1st, so... I'm not. I'm new to this area, so I'm not used to where to go. I'm trying to find some state land and stuff right now, so it's really giving me a headache. But uh, we're gonna get out there. I've got stuff packed, ready to go. I had it yesterday with me, actually, in the car. So, but anyway, folks, that's uh, that's my kit. Hope you like it. Y'all take care and God bless.